My fiancé had an emotional affair with an old flame and cheated on me. My fiancé did not physically cheat on me, but she grew emotionally entangled in a person she used to like. In November, I realized she was sending him pictures of her work attire, images of what we were doing, such as carving pumpkins for Halloween, and messaging incessantly during the workday, mostly about trivial matters. She requested if we could watch a Netflix program one night, and I subsequently found out he was referenced in their chat. It's in your court now, he added in his final message, expressing his feelings for my fiancé. My fiancé said something along the lines of, oh wow, that's a lot to process. I need to find out what I'm doing here, but we shouldn't communicate till then. She then texted a copy of the chat to her closest friend, who said, wait a minute, what are you about to do? This isn't the first time she's messaged him. Last year, she was also catching up with him. She liked him, but she's with me and believed her thoughts were bad, she said. I learned about the texts. She disabled alerts for his iMessage and Facebook communications. She was accosted by me. She stated she knew it would harm me, but she still did it. I asked for the ring back and spent a week with my folks. After talking to people who encouraged me to stop it since it wasn't the first time, I replied, I have to give it one more opportunity and see what she does, and we've been trying to work things out ever since. I'm seeing a therapist and she is as well. We want to go to couples counseling, but first we need to figure out what we want. We discussed it again last night, and she claimed she never flirted with him, but she conceded she may have done so when I found out. I feel like I'm going around in circles with her. I'm stress eating, gnashing my teeth, and finding it difficult to forgive. This wasn't the first time she'd slept with him, and she promised herself she wouldn't do it. Again, I'm worried about our future, and she constantly says she loves me. However, I believe it is because she was apprehended and almost lost me. Any advice is appreciated. I'm afraid this would have resulted in physical cheating at some time. Thank you everybody for your suggestions. I know many of you said I shouldn't, but I did. I got on my ex's computer yesterday and discovered a communication with her friend from a year ago that I was unaware of. Talking about dreams, strange flirty banter, and pop culture debates that I believed I had gotten her into, hindsight it all lines up. She sensed there was something there in 2019, but wasn't sure how she felt about it. We were still dating at that point and not engaged. I also found out four weeks ago that she wanted to end our relationship. She also crossed my social distance line when she saw a buddy who had been in touch with someone who had COVID. Opinions aside, she never told me and my family had a few high-risk people. Last night, we chatted. I informed her about my new discoveries and told her it was all over. She should investigate her emotions for the other person, who looks half as good as me and is nowhere near financially stable. She consented, and I received the ring back. After many tears, I began to negotiate the lease and money. She's a brick because 80% of our possessions are mine or my family's. She was driving my vehicle and relying on me to get to our apartment. She will struggle even with a roommate. I hope nothing awful happens to her, but she should have considered all of it before doubting our relationship. For the time being, I must confine myself until I can return to my parents. It's a strange limbo. It stinks, but I see the light at the end of the tunnel. I'm sorry about the nice memories, but I know that if this hadn't happened, she would have explored her sentiments with other people if we had married. I have a wonderful supervisor who has advised me to take the next several days off, as well as wonderful friends who have been counseling me through this. I'm grateful for COVID since it forced us to postpone our wedding, which would have been one week before the big day. Thank you for your help, Reddit. We all know we deserve more, and I know there is someone out there who will love me no matter what. It is now time to recover. Love and peace. Additional information. My previous post was quite some time ago. I wanted to provide an update to demonstrate that things are improving. Our lease on our apartment expired last month. We were able to get out of the lease with little to no penalty. Once it was all sorted, it was a huge breath of fresh air. She removed most of our belongings and left a bit of a shambles, but it all worked out in the end. We haven't spoken with each other in 90 days, only talking about lease updates and arranging pickups for personal belongs. This was the finest option. It was challenging at times, 
but it enabled me to concentrate more on my own development. I'm quite pleased to begin this new phase. My family celebrated with some A5 Wagyu steak from Japan, my savings have already expanded significantly, and the wedding engagement expenses were just around $3,000 or so. In the grand scheme of things, it's a little price to pay, a lot cheaper than a divorce. I'm working out again, doing old interests, spending time with family, and hoping to resume meeting people as the Cobbett subsides. Better hurry, I've received word of a new job opportunity. It's remarkable how quickly things can turn around once you get out of the fog. I can't emphasize this enough. If you're young and unmarried, move on. It has been so much better in two months to terminate things than it has been in two months to attempt to mend things. Thank you for all of your comments in this topic. My heart goes out to everyone who is dealing with infidelity. I hope my experience may give you the optimism you need. And please don't hesitate to contact me. Cheers. Story 2. I discovered I was being cheated on 12 hours ago. Here is some context, X and I had been together for two years. We've had some difficult seasons, but when we spoke about it, I convinced myself that he deserved a second slash third slash fourth slash XTH shot. He's a divorcee with two children, and a girlfriend informed me that he probably wouldn't want things like his past marriage to happen again. This occurred after work yesterday night. By 5 p.m., I was weary, but I had two bobas, went home, showered, and decided to go to my, now, ex's house. I informed my grandmother I was going to ex's house as I was leaving. She asked me to bring him this chicken floss bun since she knows he like it. I also brought a small meal to share with him. When I arrived to his house, the gate was opened and his mother was there with her friends. When I knocked on his door, he opened it with a shocked expression on his face. I pulled open the door to see another female on his bed. I immediately informed my pals about what was going on and shot videos as evidence. I received a shaky aid explanation. I'd been his emotional therapist and boulder many times, but I didn't see much progress in terms of him expressing his emotions. I remained cool and reminded him that I'd always told him, if you want to cheat tell me, so that we could work on ourselves to figure out what was lacking in the relationship. He said that this has been going on for three months, since August. I closed the conversation at his residence by asking for one, reasons not to cancel the flat application and two, an action plan. He was unable to deliver in any way. It seemed strange since our relationship had been looking so well for the preceding three months. There were dates, love, and effort from him, except that he was constantly lamenting that something was lacking. Impulse purchases for his residence made me ponder why he is so careless with his money, he was also complaining he was financially stretched. Anyway, I spoke with him and the female, who stayed there after I left, mind you. I left with two friends who drove down to pick me up, ate dinner, and wept my eyes out to my friend's breakup soundtrack. The next step for us is to cancel our joint application for a home, get back all of my belongings, and give him all of his. I'm not talking to him until December 3rd. Before I explain about what occurred, I'll need his signature to certify the cancellation of our apartment together. My head is focused on not forgiving him, but my friends and I all know I'm a softy. Reading this article helps to ground me and prepares me for what's to come. My next steps would be to put out reasons why I should not forgive him, and I already have three. Delete images and other data from your phone. Change your password for Disney+, Plus, shared accounts, and so on. I honestly don't know if there's anything more, but please give any suggestions in the comments.